Well, here's my gear. Hammock, coffee. Uh, I got one shirt, one pair of pants in case I uh, need them. I got a poncho. I got my one knife. Uh, some fishing gear. Here's my knife. Two or none. I got another one I'm going to get. It's not here, but... Um, two pairs of glasses I got my canteen for water but I'm gonna bring like uh, three or four extra bottles of water because it's uh, dehydration is uh, essential to um, survival and, uh, and out there because dehydration happens quicker than hunger I'm only going out for one day I may take some snack bars because just to snack on because I'm not you know for energy and shit like that on hiking like some pop tarts or something like that you know just a good energy boost you can eat one pop tart on the way and it's finger food too but um i don't necessarily like having to have hot water for coffee and since i'm not going to be cooking i would usually have uh some cook pots in there so that i could cook the water and ramen noodles or whatever quick fix i'm going to do some vienna sausage and some tuna fish and that way i have a cooker uh, because I take the food and say, okay, what can I get out of the purpose of the cans? I can make a cooker. And that cooker then cooks the food that I just brought by putting the food in the thing, rinsing out the little things, making the cooker, and then putting the pot on right on top of the cans that I had the food come out of. There's my cooker. So I save space and time and weight. Um, I came up with the idea because I wanted to go less and less. I'm going to take a vest with me because it is still um, like gun season for like quail and shit like that. And I don't want to get shot by these fucking idiots out there. Just saying. Uh, I know it's there's a lot of more fucking idiots over here with guns than there is anywhere else. Um, and I don't, you know, like where I'm going, it could be someone's property and they kick me off or something. That maybe they think this is my spot or something like that. I just don't want to have any accidents, unfortunate happenings. And plus with that thing, they can see me in the um, nighttime. I, it like would reflect the, the moonlight off you, off of that fluorescent orange vest. You actually get a little illumination and you can put that up in, like on a tree and find your location back to your place if you don't want to lose your night vision with a camera or a, a light source such as a flashlight or something like that you can keep your night vision but still see where your location of your uh camp is because right now um we're just now getting green coming back so you got some visibility i would say in another two weeks that <laughs> it wouldn't be uh practical but um and then hunting scenes is over anyways because then you got uh fishing season comes in and shit like that so it's not going to be too difficult. Take a hat for my hat torch, and I've got a uh, mosquito net. I'm taking my sleeping bag just for this fact of, to lay on, um, and a hammock. I'm not doing the tarp thing because I'm going to have a, 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 a cocoon around my tarp, a bag. Instead of a tarp, I'm bagging myself, and uh, I think that's going to be better because I just roll up a bag and pull it up through my stuff, and that keeps the water off me. Just You just got to keep the water off you. Uh, we in America we go by COLD cleanliness overheat and loose layers and dampness and so the dampness is the rain and you just put this I'm not it's not winter enough like that and I'm not worried about rainmakers or hate hey, uh, halo makers or whatever the fucking things fall on your head I don't know what the fuck they're called um, widow makers that's it fucking eight well anyways this is my prep work for uh, going out for first time in a long time the reason I wasn't camping it's because when you do three years homeless, you did enough camping for a while. Anyways, this is Living the, with the Dream Wade. Peace.